Okay. So this is us. creating a new document. So we went to photo P, we did file, new, we made it nine by 12, we kept the resolution 72. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to choose two pictures to make a pattern. It's a little different than Photoshop, but I chose two pictures um, from students that I had in my art one and art three class. These were their PTA reflections entries. And I'm just going to take them. Now, I tried to drop and drag them, and it wasn't working. So I had to come up with another way to get those pictures in PhotoP because the drop and drag was being a problem. So I went to um, File, Open, and Place. When I went to File, Open, and Place, I could then go to my desktop where the picture was, and I could open it. You'll see when it opens, it opens with um, the bounding box around it. So it has the little transformation box. So you can click on the bottom corner and then you can scale this down because we want to have a bunch of them on our screen. So I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to get it to the size I like. I'm going to click on the background layer and that'll kind of set it. So I go to the check mark, which works in Photoshop and then say same in photo P and then I click on the background layer. So I applied it with the check mark and then I clicked on the background layer just so I could get off of that layer. I'm going to do file, open and place one more time. And this time I'm going to place a second picture. So you click on it, you open it, you drag it in and then I scale it down to the size I want and because they're separate layers you could see it kind of sneaking behind the other layer and you can move it around as you're scaling it. What we're going for is kind of like a checkerboard effect. So you're going to set both of those. So there it is and now if I click on the background layer it just sets it. Now, what I did was I made a copy of it. So how do you make a duplicate of a layer? Well, you press Command J or Control J. If that doesn't work for you, you're struggling. Use Edit Copy, Edit Paste. That will work also. But I use Command J. And then I simply move them. And you could see I'm on the Move tool, which is the tool in the upper left of your toolbar. So I just made four different layers, two by opening and placing, and the other two by pressing Command-J. If you click on the layer and you press and hold Shift, then you can select all four of those layers. And we're going to turn those four layers into one layer by going to the word Layer, scrolling all the way down, and go to Merge Layers. When you go to Merge Layers, you're going to see those four layers just became one and it makes it easier to see and it's going to make it easier for us now to duplicate that right so you have that layer now I want to make a copy of that layer well same thing command J go back to my move tool and move it and now I have a little pattern it's not the same the way we did it in Photoshop but it it's, it's going to work. Sometimes you just got to play around with what you have and make that work. So we did Command J or Edit Copy, Edit Paste, and now we made a little pattern. And now again, we made a bunch of layers. So arrange the layers the way you want them to. Then you can shift, hold down the shift button, click on the four layers, go to the word layer, go to merge layers. And now you have one pattern that's one layer. Okay, so that's how we're going to make a pattern using um, Photoshop. And then we're going to take this picture of the portrait and we're going to place that picture on another layer. Okay, we're going to place that in by going to File, 
open in place, find the picture. It's going to load in. Okay, and it placed it centered. I'm actually going to move it a little bit because I, I don't want that hard edge. I'm going to move it a little bit to the side a little bit after. But now what I'm looking at, these are the blend modes. The blend modes are in your layers palette. You scroll through the different blend modes until you get a look that you like. Sometimes you get a look that you like, but it's still too intense. So you might like that particular blend mode, but you may have to play around with the opacity. So the blend mode is in your layers palette. It usually says normal. Right next to it is the opacity. And you could play around with the opacity of either one of the layers to see how they fit. And that's something you'll decide and figure out. Now you can see I moved the picture in the background and then I'm going to crop because I felt like there was too much extra space around it. So I'm using the crop tool to just keep the parts I want to keep. Crop, you hit the check mark. Okay, so this is okay, but I want to add a little more to it. So those are the blend modes. Now I'm going to go to my pattern layer. I'm going to play around with the opacity there. Okay, kind of like that. But I need to turn that pattern I made and I want to define it as a pattern like we did in Photoshop. So I'm on that layer and I'm going to go to layer new fill layer and I'm going to go to pattern layer. Well what's there to fill it with? Those are the preset patterns. Right? Those are the presets. But what if I want to turn my pattern into a pattern? How do I do that? You go to the layer that has your pattern on it. I'm going to put that opacity back up. You go to that layer and you go to select all. That selects the whole thing. Then you're going to go to edit define new pattern. So edit, define new pattern. Then you can make a new layer and, and you're going to go to layer fill. Not this. You're going to go to layer, new fill layer, and you're going to go to pattern. And now look, that last pattern is the pattern we just created. And there's sliders. You can play around with those to change the pattern a little bit. So it's similar to what's in Photoshop. It's not the exact same, but you can create your own pattern and then you can fill a new layer with that pattern. And then you can play around with the blend modes and look, it's improved. It's definitely improved. I definitely like the pattern a little bit more. Sometimes closing these things up can be a pain. Those little arrows are the way to do it. There you go. Okay, so now I could see I have all sorts of patterns. I don't like the preset one, so I'm going to turn that eyeball off. Remember, that's a stacking order, too. You can change that the way things look. And then you just play around with the blend modes until you get what you like. Then you're going to save. File Save as a PSD, and you'll also do a file export as a PNG or a JPEG. And that is how you're going to try to create a mosaic portrait using PhotoP. It's a little different than Photoshop, but it will work. Okay, so that's it. Then you save your work, JPEG, and Photoshop document. And you'll have time with this because I know it takes a while. I make the videos so you can go back and forth with them as you see fit. Okay?